Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be reacting to a portfolio and that portfolio, it's my portfolio from five years ago. I'm going to show you what I've done while I was learning and this portfolio helped me get my first developer job. Probably not just this portfolio, but also my grit and determination. But this portfolio contributed massively to me getting that first developer job. So if you want to land a developer job that's going to pay you six figures, a developer job where you could be working remotely, a job where you can like feel satisfied, where you can learn every single day, then software development is for you. And I'm going to show to you today what I have done to get my first developer job. And I will show you what I would do differently today with the experience that I have uh, in the industry for being a software developer for over five years. And, uh, with my three years experience of teaching people how to do the exact same thing as me. Okay. So let's get started. Let me show you the app first of all. Uh, so this is the movie app. Okay. It's not working anymore properly. I guess they changed the API and whatnot, but here there used to be like a, like an image, um, that was the backdrop from this, um, movie here that's randomly selected and here you can see the upcoming movies I guess movies that will appear in cinema soon and these are movies that are in theaters right now and what I want you to notice here is that uh, I have put a lot of effort into making this pretty as pretty as I was able to make it uh, I have this sort of parallax on these posters. So as you can see, if I'm scrolling up and down, you see the image is like slightly, it's moving like slower up or down and whatnot. And it's giving like a cool effect. I think I spent around a month working on this main page. I had like some text flying from somewhere and then there were like flames coming through the font and whatnot. It, this thing was crazy when I was working on it because I was trying to impress people, okay? And don't get me wrong, that's that's right, you should be doing that, but I think I was overdoing it, so I ended up throwing everything uh, into the trash. And um, I, I wouldn't say I wasted my time because I've learned a bunch of things, but 95% of the things that I've tried in that first month or so are not here anymore in this project but i've learned those skills and i was able to use those skills later in my career okay so nothing was wasted at the end of the day now um this design was made by me so i tried to inspire myself from a website called dribble dribble.com with three b's and i think i put together a few things that i saw in there and i came up with this i have also this uh, nav bar that's coming whenever you scroll down or up whenever you scroll up the nav bar comes back up so you can search for different movies and i have this um sticky navigation here which was extremely proud of making you know um all my texts have some weird uh, transitions so they're like gradients and whatnot and you can also see this here in the upcoming there's like a small transition from this color to this color so i was learning a lot about css and that was um, something that i was uh, very proud of you know as you are not a designer as a front-end developer that's the designer's job but it's still your job to make things pretty so no matter what you need to develop this eye for design somehow you need to study it and whatnot you need to figure out how to make things pretty um if not get a designer to help you with that but um yeah, this is maybe not the best example. Let's try to get Black Adam. So here you can see an individual movie, correct? Correct. Uh, you can see an individual movie. And what I've done is I think I here I'm making multiple API calls. So uh, another thing that I want to tell you is that if you find an API that you want to use, you need to milk it. That means whenever you have a page like this, try to add multiple endpoints into one thing. So for example, here I'm getting the video. So I'm getting the similar movies here, which is a list. I'm getting the credits for the movie cast. And I'm not sure what videos is. Probably this, perhaps. And 
I don't remember what was in here. But yeah, another thing that you can do, so I can navigate to similar movies, which is gonna get me to the same page pretty much, but with different data incorporated in it. You can also see actors. Here there should be a picture, but it's gone. Um, you can get some information about this um, actor and whatnot. Another thing that I could have done is link all the movies that this actor has been a part of. Okay, I would have a list or something like that. Um, and now here I can search. So Fight Club, The Good Fight or whatever. Now I can see information about The Good Fight. All right, so it's nothing crazy. And I would have, if I would have been smarter and not freak out that I need to create as many projects as I can, I would have add more features to this project, okay? So for example, this is the API that I used. I think today this is one of the most used APIs. Everyone has used them, has used this API. But I think people are not milking, as I mentioned, this API enough. Because here you can see, like we can have a bunch of endpoints that we can attack, right? Movie features, TV features, TV season features, TV episode features, collection features, people features. Remember when I've made a video with a Trello board, how you should create your app in Trello first with a Google Doc where you describe every single thing. If you would spend one or two hours or even two days coming up with an app idea first before you start coding it like most people do, you'd be an absolute savage because let's say, <clears throat> let's say we can look at the movie, right? We can search a movie. I already did this discover. I already did this on the main page. So I, I could get the details. I think I've done that. I've done the cast. Then I can get the crew. I can create another part in my move, in my app, in the movie one where I could show all the pictures that are related to this movie, even though maybe it's not even relevant, I would just put them in there. Keywords, maybe that would help me with some search, release information, trailers, let's see, reviews, maybe I'll have a section with reviews, belongs to a list, so I could put all the lists that are mentioning this movie, so then I could click on the list, and then I would see a list with other movies, right? And that will be even great, even even better, right? Um, let's see what else. Collection, I could make a collection page. One about people. One for companies, because all these movies are created by companies, so I can query the companies and I can see what movies are they making. And then I can click on each movie and then I can see the same thing, right? So the idea behind this is that the main concept is that you wanna make an app that would keep people on the app, okay? That's your main goal. So if you figure out how to do that, then you have a success. Because anyone can make two API calls and whatnot, put them on a page and that's it, and they, they call themselves a front-end developer. But if you take it a, a notch further and you can create something that allows people to stay on that app, that's gonna be a bit more impressive. Even though you might be using the same thing as just putting, uh, making some API calls, which is what you'll be doing anyway, but you'll be making a more engaging app. The application is gonna become more complex and the application is gonna become more interesting. So people will take you more seriously, okay? That's what you want, to be taken seriously, not to be taken the piece off, if that makes sense. So now let's look at my code which is absolutely terrible. So as you can see, I've done this five years ago, I think almost six years ago. And I've been using React, Redux, style components, if I'm not mistaken, and React Router. So exactly the same technologies that I'm teaching right now, nothing changed. The way I'm doing it right now, it's completely different. So um, here I have Redux and containers, and then inside containers, I have my components, the pages. You see, I, I barely have anything in here. It's absolutely shameful. Now I would change things in a way, way different. Like this is so, so bad. Um, but again, I copied this from a Udemy tutorial. So I thought that that's great. But being in the industry for five years, 
I've noticed that like, people are making it in a different way, are making the structure of the application in a different way, and that's what I've been teaching to my students. But I can see the progress, you know, it's crazy to see like, I was thinking that this application is crazy a few years ago when I was making it and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And now I've been working on applications that have like hundreds or like hun- like two, three, four, five hundred co- uh, files, components and whatnot. And now I'm not even phased by it, you know, if that makes sense. So you can see the progress in there and that's going to happen with you as well once you get your first developer job. Um, I don't want to get into how I would do this right now because you, it doesn't matter. Um, but as you can see, I have like spaces here. I have like a space here. It doesn't make sense. Uh, let's see my Redux. I wouldn't use all these spaces here. I'm like, I'm a big freak when it comes to doing all this stuff. Uh, let's see. Probably this is boring for you if you don't know what Redux is. Here I have some random indentation. At least I don't have console logs, random indentation. Uh, but whenever I work with someone, I look at all this stuff, right? I don't let anything, you know, to chance because it's really bad. You don't want to have anything left to chance. Everything has to be made with intention. You know what I mean? Because that's the difference between a, a noob and a professional. The professional always is intentional about every single detail, okay? Because if you're not careful, you'll have bugs and you'll have a very tough time keeping the job. But yeah, um, this was the video. I hope you liked it and I hope you got some lessons from me and some ideas. And if you want to skip this and you don't want to do all the mistakes that I've done, you can work with me, you can apply for the mentorship program. Um, the link for that is in the description of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.